Before I start, I wanted to say thank you to Videoblocks for sponsoring today's video. And yes, I got this beautiful drone footage from Videoblocks.com. Here you can get studio quality stock video clips, HD and 4K footage, After Effects templates, motion graphics and a lot more. I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've been using motion graphics uh, in a lot of my newest videos just to up the quality and most of them I did get from video blocks. When you become a member you get 40% off on every purchase and the original artist takes home the commission of the sale price which is awesome. All content is royalty free so you can use it for commercial or personal projects or on your monetized YouTube channels which is what I'm doing right here. So go ahead and check out video blocks. The link will be in the description. Hey guys, Irene here. Today I'm going to be doing a behind the scenes video. Uh, but before we go to the photo shoot, I thought I'm going to show you guys how I pack for my photo shoot, uh, what kind of equipment do I take with me and why. So this is the backpack that I'm going to be using. It's nothing special, just something I got from Amazon. Obviously I'm going to be taking my Canon Mark III and my favorite Canon 85 millimeter 1.2. Uh, I'm also taking my Sigma 35 mil millimeter 1.4. This is something interesting, it's my film lens, uh, Mamiya 80mm 1.9 with a converter. I will be using this lens with the camera that I'm actually filming on right now with my Sony A6500. I can use film lenses on a mirrorless cameras and I'm super excited to try it out. It's gonna be my first time uh, using this lens with a digital camera. I'm also grabbing my loop viewfinder. This is just a cheap one from Amazon that you can find for like $20. I will try to link everything in the description down below. This just helps to see the back of your camera uh, in a very bright situation and today is very hot and very bright. I'm also gonna grab a lens hood for my 85 you guys always want me to shoot with the lens hood so here you go here I have a bunch of batteries and memory cards I also might take some softening filters with me these are just something new that I'm trying out right now and I'm gonna be making a video on these very very soon so I'm gonna just put them right over here so this is all I'm taking now here I'm gonna be grabbing my gimbal this is what I use to film the videos this is the giant crane the first version I'm also bringing this bag full of clothes uh, there's just a bunch of options I always bring Bring lots of different options for the model because you never know what's gonna look the best in her and I usually just kind of drop the gimbal in there and then finally I always bring my step ladder with me as I mentioned before I'm short I'm only 5'2 so having this always helps not only because I'm short but also to get some different angles so I highly recommend if you don't own one get one of these step ladders. All right, so we just got to the river and this is the location that I've shot most of my river photo shoots. The reason why I like it is because we have a bridge here and it provides a lot of shade even when it's really hot. And another reason is because we have all of these rocks. I will be climbing them later um, because when I go on top of these rocks, I can kind of shoot from up top and still use my 85. Um, but right now we're gonna shoot some uh, pictures of Katrina just kind of walk Walking in the water we'll mm -hmm. start slow and yeah. then we like slowly submerge you more and more into water yeah. <laughs> but she is wearing a vintage uh, nightgown that I thrifted of course at Value Village you guys already know it and then we're gonna be probably using um, this little throw it's also like a nightgown that I bought at Value Village so it just kind of goes uh, like this we'll have it just kind of draping off of her shoulders and maybe dragging in the water like this as she walking through the river. Uh, I think this is gonna look really nice. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's let's get Doing going. It. Also, something I was telling Katrina earlier: be careful and train. Take her time. Really do it slowly. We do not want any accidents. Some of the rocks are pretty slippery, so you have to be careful. Also, that's why I'm wearing these. They have the grip at the bottom, so it really helps with not slipping and also being able to just kind of wear shoes in the water. So yeah, let's get let's get in the water. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, that looks really, really nice. Looks on camera really nicely too. So I wanted to get that shot of like you dragging it, but like turn around. So you're gonna be you're gonna be walking that way. Oh. Okay. Yes. And then you're kind of looking back at me as you're like dragging the dress. Yes. Yeah. And hold it kind of like that, like you did. Yeah. That looked really nice. You need to find that perfect spot. Here we go, here we go. This is it. Just where you are is perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what, you can continue just going forward with it. Yeah, just kind of, yeah. You can take like a step and then, oh. <laughs> you see, that's what I was saying. Just slowly, slowly. So stay, oh, stay like that. Oh, yes. In some spots, the water almost looks just white. Like there's not enough ripples. So I have to make sure that I'm getting the right angle. Uh, like if I take it from below more like this, then I don't see as much of the white. It's more of just, oh yeah. Oh, that looks so nice. I love it, yeah. It's beautiful. And I love your hair like this. Beautiful. We can also get you sitting on some of these rocks over there. Maybe let's do that right now. You know what? It's probably easier to get to them from the top rather than the water. Just be careful because they're slippery. Oh, I love it. Uh, can I see a little bit more of your knee? Yeah. And on the other one too, just like grab, yeah. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Oh my god, you can like see a reflection in it. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yes, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what, stay there, let me see. What if I kind of go, let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> that looks so pretty. So, I just saw something that's really cool. If you can look in the water, uh, the sun is reflecting into it. And if I get the right angle and position it right around where my model is, I'm gonna get amazing, amazing bokeh here. Now, the only thing here, this is almost like shooting backlit because like it's reflecting in the water and then back into the camera. So you just have to make sure that you're getting your model still in focus. I'm gonna get closer to her. Oh God, that is like the, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. And the way the dress is falling right now is like perfect. You know what, just do what you're doing right now. And just look at me, just your eyes at me. Oh my God, girl. Okay, uh, can you move a little bit towards me? Like if you just kind of position your legs more, I wanna see just like a little bit of your leg. Is it possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's totally fine. You just look like, some mermaid in this like magical place I don't even know <laughs> just doing this for my view too <laughs> but you know what this is when you know when I'm really into it my for some reason I start doing this <laughs> like this is me on a shoot okay let's try some over here a little bit of a different angle. I'm still getting that reflection though. Oh my God. I really wanna try these with um, that film lens and see what it's gonna create. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mamiya 80 millimeter 1.9 with the Sony a6500 we were just filming with it um, 
this is a crop sensor. Let's just see what it's gonna look like. I'm excited to try it out. I also forgot to mention that this lens is completely manual, so I'm just using my live view, zooming in on Katrina's face, focusing and then taking a shot and I was actually pleasantly surprised at how sharp and beautiful these pictures turned out. Oh, I love that. See which one is better. Oh, I love that pose and just look at me here. You see the little uh, stone over there? Yeah. Step on it. Okay, stay there. And let me see if this is not too backlit. Oh, I love that. Okay, stay like that. That is so angelic. It's so flared though. It's like very soft. For this last shot, I totally forgot to turn on my mic, but we're shooting in the shade and I'm sitting on top of these rocks to get an upper angle on my model. She is sitting in the water and we're just taking some simple portraits and using the water ripples as my background. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Don't forget to check out Katrina and Monica who's filming the video. She's also an amazing photographer. Mm -hmm. So everyone's links are going to be in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>